Well, okay, so like there's something when you have when you have spiritual experiences, uh, it's like that, and the Course in Miracles says it. It says my secu you know uh, security comes from from my connection to Source. It doesn't come from anything outside of myself. You see, so the thing that, and this is what I got from The Course of Miracles and from Dr. Hawkins, is that my financial security, my emotional security, my love security, everything stems just from how good is my connection to Source. Mm -hmm. And the ego just projects ideas of security onto money, onto people, onto jobs, onto careers, and anything. And that's an illusory concept. You know, like if I had a million pounds in the bank, a million pounds doesn't give me security. Or if, if I have someone who, who, who likes me, that is not, that's an illusory base, basis for security. It doesn't actually give it to you because, um, you know, um, uh, they're, they're illusory projections. So actually what takes care of me on a daily basis is my, is my connection to source or grace or oneness. That's the source of my survival, you see. So the, the universe can orchestrate things miraculously for me. And anyone who's had profound spiritual experiences uh, will know that there is a... It's like the experience of infinite security, infinite love, and infinite trust, and infinite well-being. And there's not even a, a, a future moment or a past moment. It's like being held in a cushion of love, you know, and everything flows by in the day effortlessly in a sea of oneness and love. And ecstasy, mm -hmm. so and everything unfolds at a magical, uh, in a magical way. So, and then when you're disconnected from that source, everything is horrific. Even if you've got a job, even if you've got lots of money, if you've mm -hmm. got people like you, still everything is unmanageable and horrific, and things get taken away from you more and more. So, what do you learn from uh, the advanced teachers and things like a course in miracles, also in twelve steps? You know, if, if you ask, and speak it from a 12-step level, it's like if you surrender, if you let go, then God will take care of you. And if you hold on, then you're, you're on your own with your ego, and it's not God's, God's business to look after you. But of course, in miracles, it's like, you know, the sort, there's only one source of your security, and that's your connection to grace. So it's grace that takes care of you. When you're in the field of grace, then you'll be looked after. Now, all... Um, if you start to look at enlightened teachers and everything, it's like the food comes at the right time, the money, the shelter, everything orchestrates itself perfectly. There is no fear. Everything is given at the right time, you know, and it's like the universe. And also to answer a question on work, it's like the more you're able to trust, the more you're able to live a life that is orchestrated by grace. And it doesn't necessarily look like what your ego would want. You know, your ego might think, well, if I'm... If I was connected to God, I'd be like head of a bank and have a Ferrari. That's not necessarily what you it would be, what would manifest, what would channel. Like, I like St. Francis, he says, you know, it's to be an instrument of the divine. So, you know, an instrument of the divine is just to do God's work, you know, in whatever fashion. I mean, there's, you know, it's not, not just necessarily being a teacher of God. I mean, whatever your talents and gifts are will be used by grace. Uh, you know, for, for love and healing in the planet. It could be anything. It could be an artist, a dancer, or it could be a spiritual teacher, or it could be a healer, or I mean, there's all kinds of things. But that, when, you're, when you take the ego out of the way, your pure calling will come through and it will feel natural and right, whatever it is. And I, I think, um, you know, when I was in ego, um, I'm digressing, but I always did the things which I thought my ego thought would be good for security. I didn't do the things that I thought my heart would think it would be good. And when you start doing, all, when you get into the advanced spiritual things, you realize that if you're in tune with your heart, if you're in tune with God and with grace, grace will take care of you to do your calling. But that, you know, I don't want to oversimplify spirituality because you're, I find that to do your calling takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of testing and there's a lot of fear because uh, The Course of Miracles talks about it. It's like we are programmed in the collective consciousness of this society. Mm. You know, there's fears around money, there's fears about, there's projections about what security is, what status is. So if you're going to release all of that and disentangle all your belief systems and all your oppressed feelings and return to grace, 
you know, it's going to look, it might look very different to what mm -hmm. your ego thought should be security and a good career. And okay. the first thing that ego might tell you, or will tell, certainly tells me, is you work too hard to be where you are today to just let it go. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 That, that, that is true. I mean, that's the thing I think was the great thing of having a rock band, because, you know, I had done, uh, I relate to that, because my whole identity was in the stock market. Mm. You know, I had done an MBA, I had invested a lot of money, I'd got this career, I'd wanted this career in the stock market, I was working like a lunatic, and my whole identity was based in that. Mm. So to be, you know, but then it was good, because, you know, I was nearly dead. And so, the, and they require someone... <laughs> They, they, they require someone who can work like a lunatic and when you've got yeah. kidney failure mm -hmm. and you can't work uh, and they look at you and they go, well, you're, you're, you're on disciplinary straight away. We can't, we can't have anyone like you because we need workaholics and if you're mm -hmm. not a workaholic, you, you're fired. So that was, so that was great because I couldn't be eligible and so I had to go through the grief. You know, like when you, you need, um, this is the thing. Uh, this is the great thing of when you're taken to rock bottom is that you have to go through your withdrawal from your from your identity because mm -hmm. if your identity mm -hmm. is still quite strong you might not have enough of an impetus to let it go and get sucked back in to what you were doing before but you know it's okay it can be let go of gradually through spiritual work but in my case I guess I was lucky but it's a huge trauma and it's a huge you know, the ego has a lot of built-in identities, a lot of things it feels comforted by. They have a lot of, you know, these are, you know, my work was an extremely strong attachment. You know, we're letting go of attachments. It's my, my identity. It's like who my, my sense of self was based on. So to let that go, you go through like grief of a loss of a loved one. You know, you just have to accept that. It's like losing who you believed you loved. You know, I loved my identity. My identity was my career. So to let that go is like traumatic and it's like losing the... It's almost like, unless you've had a... I mean, I had the spiritual experience, but it is like losing yourself. Mm -hmm. It is like losing who you thought you were. Mm -hmm. And that is what all spiritual work is about. It's about surrendering... Uh, the, I love the Course of Miracles because we're set, surrendering the illusion of what we thought we were to find out who we really were, which is also correlates to work. Mm -hmm. So if you don't let go of your ego, you'll just do the job that your ego wants you and thinks you should be and you've been programmed to and your identity thinks will be good for you. If you let that go, then you'll be in tune with your heart or your spirit. And that will be something totally different to be orchestrated from that place. So I just wanted to share that. You know, so when you, anyone's had a strong spiritual experience or had a great day of grace, you know you're in the present moment and you know you feel like everything will work out well, you've, you've got absolute trust and everything is in beautiful, there's a beautiful synchronicity, that's the power that looks after you. Mm. And it's not money or your career or the people that know you know. So when you're connected to that source, all will be well, you know. And uh, if you look at the lives of um, uh, enlightened teachers, you know, they even sometimes they have very humble humble lives but they're always like the miraculous is always around them food comes from somewhere shelter comes from somewhere travel comes from somewhere so that they can do their work it's the miraculous um, so uh, and as you let go of um, as you let go of more and more of the ego through feeling feelings uh, cancelling beliefs uh, being in the observer um, your choices for career and work and money will also gradually shift and will take you in alignment with your thing. It may be quickly or slowly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might suddenly realize, yes, that's my calling for my work. Or you might shift gradually into it. But that's okay as well. But my main thing is, like, keep the spiritual work as a primary and be prepared for some tests, which are very difficult. Because as you, as you let go of an ego, as you start letting go of your ego, it's like these belief systems pull together tests for you around money and fear and uh, that you need to go back to something or quickly take something which is fear-based or you won't survive mm. and it's like and it's like you, and my experience was if you walk through that fear it's like you think you're going to lose everything and then at the last minute I've always found that the universe comes in but it's always like waiting to see if you'll fall back for your old mechanisms again no no I don't believe that the universe will take care of me I think this is too scary I'm going to go back to my old ways. 
So that's, that's the habitual test. And when you do that, you go up to the next level.